Hi, welcome to LearnHowToGarden.com. In today's episode, I'm going to be telling you how to grow sweet potatoes. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How To Garden, if you click on this link appearing up on my left, that takes you to the website, input your email address, and that means you get access to all the written posts. You get our free monthly newsletter, which is really always interesting. Well, I think so, I make it. And it also lets you know what other things we do at Learn How To Garden. What we have here are sweet potatoes. This is one of the most popular root vegetables you can grow. And it can be a bit tricky because it doesn't grow from seed particularly easily. I've never seen sweet potato seed. And it actually doesn't grow from tubers either. What it grows from are slips. And what slips are, they are long growths that normally come out of the end of the sweet potato. And you can buy sweet potato slips, but they're really easy to produce if you follow one or two simple rules. You can buy name varieties of sweet potatoes or you could get some organic sweet potatoes from your local supermarket. And the first thing you need to do is to cut these in half. And they need a temperature of between 20 and 26 degrees to grow really well, which is why for those people in the UK they can be a bit of a problem. And they also that need that temperature to start their slips growing. And the best way i found is to take a shallow tray you just cut your sweet potatoes in half and then into this tray you put about half an inch of water. And because of the time of year, i.e. spring in the UK for us, we're going to put this into the propagator just with the water in so that that water at the prop bottom will be between about 21 and 24 degrees. It's the propagator that I start off most of my seeds and my tomatoes in. And we simply put the water in the bottom of here. We put this in the propagator. And what will happen in the next two to three weeks, we'll get long slips growing off the top of here. Once they're about two to three inches long, we're going to remove those. There may be some roots on the bottom of the potatoes. If you can, you can take some of those with it. And we'll pot those slips on into a mixture of 50% vermiculite and 50% potting compost. And then we grow those on. And I've always found that in the UK, the only way to grow them successfully is either in a very large pot in your greenhouse. They grow fantastically in really well prepared soil in a polytunnel. And by prepared, I mean you want to have 30% sand mixed in to soil that is already very rich. Or the other way we've grown them is in a hotbed, that old Victorian method that you've seen at Learn How to Garden of creating a hotbed. And what we then do is we top the hotbed off with eight inches to a foot, again, of prepared compost, really rich compost out of our compost heap, and 30 to 35% sand. But the first thing we need to do is to get these slips. So we just put as many of these sweet potatoes as we can in here. We pop this into our propagator, no top on at all. We keep the bottom at 20 to 26 degrees, 21 to 26 degrees. If you don't have a propagator, you could do this on a heat mat. You could even do it on a radiator. But with a radiator, remember, it's not likely to be light enough, so the actual slips may elongate. And that is simply how you produce sweet potato slips. In about a month, I'll be showing you how to take these and pot them on. And about a month after that, we'll be planting them out into our hotbed here at Learn How to Garden.